Today's a great day to be a Wildcat. Every day is a great day to be a Wildcat. Come on. It's a great day to be a Wildcat. It's a great day to be a Wildcat. Every day is a great day to be a Wildcat. Woo! So right now we are at Hamilton Smith Hall. This is actually the second oldest building on UNH's campus, but it was newly renovated in 2017. It's really awesome. So I'm going to talk about some academic resources here. So no matter what your major is or your minor or even if you come in undeclared, every student here at UNH will have an academic advisor. So these academic advisors are really just there for you to guide you any step of the way in terms of your academics. So whether you want to add a double major, add a minor, study abroad, plan for your four years, whatever it is, you'll meet with them at least once a semester and they're just another awesome resource to have here right on campus. So besides your academic advisors, we also have our Career and Professional Success, or CAPS. So every single major also has CAPS, and they have things like LinkedIn workshops, resume review, mock interviews, and they have drop-in hours. So you can go in to talk to them and if you're trying to find a job or an internship, and oftentimes they have experience in the field that you're trying to go into, which is really useful. We have two large career fairs, one in the fall and one in the spring, but then we also have 26 other career fairs throughout the whole year and some of them are more major specific. And so if you're looking for a job or an internship, there are a ton of resources right here on UNH's campus to be helpful. So I'm going to be talking about studying abroad here at UNH. There are so many different ways to study abroad, no matter what your major or minor is. And so I honestly highly, highly encourage everyone to look into it. I was fortunate enough to study abroad in Florence, Italy last year. It was easily the best experience of my life. Being able to travel all around Europe and really experience the Italian culture was something that I'll hold dear to my heart for my whole entire life. But another really awesome part about it is that it's some people think that financial, financially it would be out of the picture. I actually saved $10,000 by going to Italy for the semester. And financial aid almost always carries over. So I always en encourage people just look into it. The possibilities are endless and if you put your finger on a map you can probably find a way to get there. So here at UNH, we are in Paul College. This is the home to the business school, so home to business, economics, and hospitality. I am a business student personally. Um, my four years, I've spent a lot of time in this building, but we have over 100 majors here on campus. Welcome to Smith Hall. This is home to admissions, so if you send your application here, this is where it will get read and hopefully accepted. Other than admissions, we have a couple other really awesome offices. First is Student Accessibility Services, or SAS. So this is for anyone who, it's kind of for a wide variety of things, whether you need extra time on a test or if you break your leg and need physical help getting from class to class, this is the place to go. We also have PACS. This is our psychological and counseling center. So if you, if you come to school and you're having a hard time getting adjusted, you need to talk to someone, you can get eight free sessions and then they can refer you to someone else after that. Last but not least, we have CIFAR. This is our center for academic resources. And this is different than a tutoring service. It's more of a place to help you develop good study habits. So if you live on campus here at UNH, you'll pick up your mail right here. It's located in the Memorial Union Building, or students like to call it the MUB. So it's very convenient, centrally located, and if your parents are nice enough to send you a package, this is where they come to pick it up. Right behind me is the UNH Bookstore. It's located also in the MUB right here on campus. It's great to get any UNH apparel if you want to check that out before a UNH football or hockey game, and it's also great to get your books before the semester starts. So right behind me is MUB Movies. We have movies that come to campus every single weekend. They're movies that are usually just out of the theaters, but not yet on DVD. It's once again included in tuition, so you can just show up and get a ticket, and they have popcorn for a dollar. Right behind me here is our Hall of Student Orgs here on campus. So we have over 250 student orgs, and if you don't like any of those, you can start your own. So one of my favorite events that we have here on campus is something called U-Day. This is usually within the first couple weeks of school, and Thompson Hall lawn shuts down. All of the university's organizations set up tables and so that you can walk around, talk to them, see what you'd, you would be most interested in. So that's a great way for the whole university to get together and for you to get involved. If you're ever sick of the dining halls here at UNH, which I don't really know how you could be, but we have another option called Union Court, and this is just a pretty much a food court where they have things like salads, sandwiches, soup, sushi, pretty much everything you would need. It's great for lunch to pick it up on the go, or a lot of people will just come here and it's a great place to hang out with your friends. Diamond Library, this is our largest of four libraries on campus. The library has a ton of awesome resources. We have two large quiet rooms, so this is for people who like to study in absolute silence but we also have just tables on every other floor of the library, so if you want to work with your friends, with a group, talk quietly, if you just like that background noise, then those are the spots for you. And then 
and then we also have our Zeke's Cafe on the fourth floor. So you could literally live in the library if you needed to. We have everything from coffee, bagels, snacks, anything you would need to get a good study session in and be the most productive you could be. Behind me is Health and Wellness. This is our family practice right here on campus, which is super convenient if you ever are sick. Um, and need to go to see a doctor, we have a fully operating medical service right in here. We also have a fully operating pharmacy. So my freshman year, I got strep throat, mono, and some flu all in one semester, so they became my best friends, and it's really convenient to have it right here on campus. So here at UNH, we have three different tiers of sports. We have our Division I sports, our club sports, and intramurals. So here I'm gonna talk a little bit about our club sports. These are for people who, if you play a sport in high school and you like that competitive aspect, that's, this might just be something for you. So usually you still have to try out. They have practices a few times a week and they might travel to other New England schools on the weekend, but it's not like they're coming here on a scholarship to do this sport. And then intramurals, we have 30 plus different types of intramurals. These are all just for fun. So we have everything from soccer and basketball to inner tube water polo. So this is a great way to just get out and meet people, exercise as well. Maybe a lot of people choose to make a intramural team with the people on their floor freshman year. That's a great way to just get out and get some exercise. So right now we are at the Whittemore Center. This is where our Division I team plays hockey, as you can see behind me. We have some pretty fun traditions here, like white out the wit. This is where everyone in our student section wears white. And after our first goal is scored by UNH, we throw a dead fish on the ice. Other than playing hockey here, we also have some other really cool stuff that goes on here, like our fall and spring concerts. All right, so now we're at the Wildcat statue. We are right outside the Whittemore Center. You can see that the nose is rubbed off a little. That's just another one of our traditions here at UNH. People rub the nose for good luck. So whether you're having a test or you want to rub it before you go in for a hockey game, rubbing the nose will always give you a little bit of good luck. So I'm going to talk about transportation here on campus. We actually have the largest bus system in the state of New Hampshire. So there's a bus coming up right now, and this is included in tuition for students. It goes all around campus, as well as to neighboring towns like Dover, Newmarket, Newington, and Portsmouth. So if you're ever looking to get off campus, it's a really easy and affordable way to do it. Besides that, right behind me, right back there, is our Amtrak station. There is a stop in Durham that is right in the middle of Boston and Portland, Maine. If you wanted to just go to a concert, museum, anything like that, we are just a train right away, which is awesome. 